guys welcome back to my channel of course this is Bren's Beauty Boutique I am Bren I'm so sorry I've been absent for almost a week now no videos I have been so sick and still not feeling the best but uh, really just missed you guys I missed uh, creating and I've missed playing in makeup of course and so here I am I'm back and I'm ready to finally demo and just play around with this gingerbread palette or I've had to move my YouTube setup downstairs in our back basement. There's absolutely no windows, no natural light of any kind. Um, so I had to purchase a couple of, you know, cheaper lights and they're not necessarily really doing the trick. So if my color is a little off or uh, what have you, then I apologize for that, you guys. But uh, we're doing the best we can down here. So, you know, for the best. Of course, I did prime my eyes already, you guys using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Sin. Always, always my favorite. I probably won't do any swatches or anything because I'm sure you guys have seen quite a few videos on that already. We're just gonna go get into it um, and create a look with this. So, But this is the palette for those of you who may not have seen it. If you are contemplating getting this, would I recommend it? I really would, I love it. I love the color selection. I love how it's laid out in the in the pans. I love how um, cute it is. I mean, come on, you guys. Come on, look at this guy. So cute, right? Um, let's talk about the smell, though. Surely I'm not the only one who's noticed this, but they had said on the website that it had a gingerbread smell. I personally do not smell gingerbread at all in this palette. Well, maybe a hint of vanilla. That's what I smell in this palette. So. Um, I don't know. Am I the only, am I alone in that? Uh, you guys, let me know. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If you've uh, if you've had a chance to do a smell test on this, to me it just smells kind of vanilla. Um, I don't hate it, but I'm a little disappointed because you know I really was actually looking forward to the gingerbread smell. Let's get into this palette. I'm so excited to use this and to create this look. So we're gonna go into powdered sugar. This color right here, the lightest color. And I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. They are a little bit powdery. And all right, so next I'm going to go in with Looky at My Cookie. And that is this kind of light peachy, very light peachy color. Hoping you guys can see that. So go right above my crease and kind of just get that in all over my lid as well. Nothing, nothing too uh, strategic, not being real precise, just getting it in there and uh, getting, zhuzhing a little color in. The next color I'm going into is called Spice is Nice, and that is a deeper orange shade, with a little bit of a peach in there, but mostly a deeper orangey brown. And we're going to basically put, place that in the same place right above the crease and I go very light-handed with these colors obviously as you can see I don't have a lot of lid space to work with and as much as at times I you know envy those girls who have all that beautiful lid space they can create all these dramatic beautiful looks you know, we are who we are, guys, and, you know, I can't be mad at it. This is, this is me, and I'm going to just embrace me, and I hope you guys will do the same, because life is short. Enjoy, enjoy who you are, love yourself, and uh, just be happy with what you do have. I'm going to go ahead in with uh, Figgy Pudding, and that is this more uh, purpley shade here very purple and I'm actually gonna use a smaller my Wayne Goss number 20 for that I think with this color I'm seeing just a little bit of patchiness there but again nothing too dramatic in now with the color um, gumdrop and gumdrop is a super fun pink color right here which I just love it is speaking to me you guys 
I just think it's so pretty. May not be a very fall color, but hey, it's all it's it's perfectly fine. We're gonna just put it on there, and I'm going to use my Sigma E55 brush for that. This is the brush I typically use for my lid shade. This is going onto my lid. Go up just a little bit above my lid space here because otherwise, as I've said in other videos and tutorials, when I open my eyes, it'll disappear otherwise. So I do go a little bit higher. So I just finished up putting the gumdrop all over my lid space and just above that, right up almost into um, the crease area here. Now I'm gonna go into gingerbread latte. This is a really nice, simple brown color here. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. And then what I'm gonna do though is I'm actually gonna go in with um, then I'm going to go in with Figgy Pudding. That is, once again, that, um, that purple color there. Then what I typically do, guys, is I take my old Victoria's Secret liner brush. There's no number on this, but it's just a really flat, flat brush. And I use that. I'm actually going to go into uh, Reindeer Paws, this really deep purple color here. And I'm going to put that right into... Uh, kind of just smudge it into my lashes, into my lash line to create a little bit of dimension there. Just on the outer part, just on the outer edge of my eye. Same thing on my upper lid as well. Like I said earlier, otherwise it has a tendency. If I go further in and if I come all the way in on the bottom lash, it closes my eyes in and that's not the look I'm going for. I really, um, I like opening my eyes up because I have hooded eyes and it's a challenge, so. All right. Wow, guys, so I'm really red and it's from my turtleneck here. It's, it's making me itch really bad. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to be running and yanking this thing off. So I apologize for all the redness and yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. So Morphe 508, just a smaller brush. And I think I'm gonna go in with Spiced Eggnog. A little bit of a shimmer, shimmer color here. I'm gonna go in with that just into my brow bone and give it just a little bit of, a um, little bit of a highlight there, little dimension. I'm going to take that same color and I'm gonna put it on my inner corner and brighten that up just a little bit. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and put on a little bit of mascara. I used my favorite, Lancome Monsieur Big. This is, it's my favorite, so I used some of that, and this is the look I got from the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. This is limited edition. I would, I would really recommend this palette. I mean, and to be honest with you, that's one, it's one of the few holiday uh, collection items that I was really interested in this year. Uh, there's a couple of other things I have my eyes on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please click that like button and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time so much. It's so valuable and it, it's valuable to me and I really appreciate you spending this time with me. And um, with that said, I really hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.